Thank you. The next speaker is uh, uh, Naresh Gujral ji. Thank you, sir. Sir, when India got independence, population of Delhi was barely 8 to 10 lakhs. And at that stage, we had the New Delhi Municipal Committee and the Municipal Corporation of Delhi. Thereafter came the Metropolitan Council, which got converted into Delhi Assembly. So one has seen various phases of these governments as Delhi grew. Basic thing was NDMC, New Delhi Municipal Committee, functioned very well and even till today keeps on receiving awards after awards, year after year, for being the best municipality, basically because of its size. It's small in size, so it caters to the requirements of the people. Sir, that is why Mrs. Sheila Dixit, in her wisdom, decided that Delhi had grown, population had grown uh, you know, manifold, to have three corporations. Now, the problem is, whatever in their wisdom they have decided, they want to have one corporation. But I have one problem, sir. They want to reduce the number of corporators. Sir, world over, the, the, there, are, there is a tendency to have smaller municipalities so that they, people's problems can be addressed expeditiously. When you have less number of corporators, it's the people of Delhi who will suffer. So I would urge the Home Minister, sir, that make them into 500, not just don't reduce, double the number. Because a normal person has small problems, electricity, road, uh, school. Uh, uh, Mr. Guzal, just one minute, uh, because it's 6 o'clock. So, uh, sir, the, uh, the time, uh, it is already 6 o'clock, but we would like to uh, conclude this discussion and then dispose of the bill. So we may sit uh, till it is disposed yeah. of. Is there the sense of the house? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, house is extended. Sir, Please I carry on. I hope I will get time tomorrow. Please carry on. Okay. Right. Okay. I'll, good, good, good. good. It's a, sir, time okay, is I won't take much, I won't take long. I am only saying, sir, let us also debate the two basic issues which have come up. Number one, sir, the Honourable Home Minister talked of the revenue stream. And I think it will be advisable for the government to follow the recommendations of the Finance Commission and not just for Delhi municipality. For all municipalities in the country, they need to have a dedicated revenue stream. And the second, and I think the whole house would agree with me, municipalities all over the country have become dens of corruption. Sir, I hate to say our corporators are, have become corrupt to the core. In Delhi, you can't get a plan passed for a house, wherever you may be. Mafias have taken over, illegal construction happening everywhere. I think this is the issue. And the Honorable Home Minister has to now relook at the powers of the corporators all over the country. Because we all know that they are corrupt. We all have to feed them, because otherwise you can get nothing done. I have told the Honorable Urban Development Minister, I had to get a plan passed. I am a, mem I'm a member of parliament. In New Delhi Municipal Committee, it took me one and a half years. And I know that when I go for the completion certificate, it will take me another one year unless I bribe. So I think we all need to look at these basic issues. How can we change the whole complexion if of our corporators? So basically, in urban areas, corporators, the, the, these, these municipalities, corporations were supposed to be nurseries of creating tomorrow's leaders. But unfortunately, what is going on that is why we see corruption on a mass scale everywhere, because at the bottom, we are not tackling the problem. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Mr. Guzral. The next speaker is uh, 